okay guys uh, welcome back to the new tutorial uh, well in this tutorial uh, we are going to see how to do the navigation stack in uh, as a cross uh, environment and we are using a carter robot in media robot to this task and this everything is available on uh, in media documentation as cross documentation you can go through that and also some problems still occurs when well using a documentation also uh, we need to do troubleshooting those problems also okay and you can see in the screen there is an uh, cortex robot cotton robot and there is an nvidia robot after this now we need to move this robot right for that uh, what's the command we will use uh, first we will run the ROS code after that Type ROS run till we out just the keyboard now we can move the robot to the keyboard you can see nice across the robot is moving now and the camera also is available on this and now, now using a keyboard test command we are moving the robot okay. uh, for this uh, we using a ROS bridge to communicate between the is a cross and ROS right uh, for that we'll, uh, we need to understand how it will be work uh, for that you can see till your test keyboard cmd well and also omni bridge this omni bridge is a ROS bridge like an uh, api it will be connect between the omniverse and the isocross uh, isocross to the uh, ROS framework that medieval it will be connect between this omniverse uh, ROS bridge so after this we understand how the tele operation is done okay now now, now we can go to the documentation in uh, uh, Firefox. Uh, you can see they give a step by step process. Well, you are installing this uh, is cross in your uh, local system. It automatically install in your system, and you need to see, see some troubleshooting process also for doing this navigation stack. And okay, and for this uh, we for doing the navigation uh, uh, we need a map right uh, in a occupancy grid for the we need to go to the isaac examples or oh, sorry isaac utilities occupancy map click that and center the selection simple process in nice across but uh, in our ROS uh, we need to use a hector g mapping uh, cartographer and our tab map or article map those things we need to use okay now now we are controlling the robot using a keyboard right using a keyboard uh, we are controlling the robot now understand the robot is controlling by the keyboard commands I am using U to uh, forward, K to stop, M to backward like that I am using keyboard okay how it will be controlled by this keyboard right 
it's a process uh, we using an omnigraph here you, you can see in the screen the omnigraph will be used for controlling the robot uh, here you can see that subscriber twist it is in cmd well so this cmd well command will be published by this node and this node is a subscriber sorry publisher and this is a subscriber the entire velocity information will be shared from this terminal to this node and this node will be control the uh, robot movement okay so process is going on and it is a uh, two wheel drive so we are using a differential control here to control the robot and the publisher is a terminal and the terminal will be published the information to the ROS on the subscriber twist and, and the differential controller will receive those velocity information uh, you can see here I uh, command position or velocity command will be sent from the subscriber node to the differential node and differential node will be share those things with an articulation controller that articulation controller will control the entire wheel process and here is the differential control is an publisher and articulation control is an subscriber so these nodes will be communicate between like this to control by using a keyboard command in the face across right okay you understand right and now we understand how the robot is controlled by an isocross using a omnigraph and the rocks and next next uh, we have this much omni nodes in the terminal in the window you can see here is an uh, isoc read a ladder beams node this nodes to communicate between this ladder ladder sensor and also and also uh, is a uh, publisher the ladder information uh, to the publisher transformation tree is a TF uh, TF is nothing but transformation coordination frame the robot should know where is my ladder is fixed right it will be identified by this it will be calculate and monitor the uh, sensors information and the location of the sensors and then what information uh, from from laser we are getting okay from laser we are getting the what information and what computation node also is available okay and we have publisher artery and also this is also for tf okay we have now tf quota and move base and map information is available on these things and the entire information will be controlled by the omni graph in the process this is a la uh, laser scan and it's a tf and uh, uh, volumetry nodes are uh, uh, connected between the one by one after this uh, uh, we need to launch the navigation in always for that launch uh, ROS launch start uh, trend uh, underscore navigation dot launch enter it as for the resource sorry uh, source it first Associate mm, now we can launch ROS uh, launch part and navigation dot launch. Okay, you can see the entire warehouse in a two D map and is an ice across uh, and is an obvious always we have map and the robo in the 2d form and you can see the black color all the static obstacles and now we can move our robo using our waves and we give the post estimation pass okay for so that now give the now go okay 
the robot is uh, moving to the initial position to the pole position and it will be reached the destination okay uh, and uh, i will give another one uh, the robot is moving to another goal estimation and it will be reached the uh, initial to the goal position from a to b location without any human intervention and you can see the information is available here but uh, once uh, we change this uh, vehicle to here but the information is available in a static motion of the obstacles is available in map but we change the vehicle to the another location now how the robot will be find out we see here we'll give another path now it's moving but now it's detect the obstacle okay so we'll give another one You can see the grid is automatically updated in the map so now the robot is find out there is a, some uh, obstacle is near to me so it's automatically updated so it will be choose another path from the that obstacle location to the another location otherwise uh, we can give another path we can add a point cloud the point load of depth okay. now you so this is a problem will occurs uh, well uh, there is no obstacle but in map it will be represented with the obstacle information so these the things will happen while well, uh, doing the AMR projects so we need to debug those things for that we need to make the another uh, occupancy map now i will uh, publish another location to the robot okay uh, what is moving to the goal location okay is the process is uh, uh, going on to do the mapping uh, we need to debug those things uh, while updating the map uh, or changing the location in the world so make sure uh, before after changing the uh, location of the obstacles make a new map to the navigation and well we see the documentation of uh, this navigation uh, in upcoming, uh, we'll see how to simulate our own robot in the environment and make the navigation uh, from URDF from scratch to the uh, higher level or intermediate level. We'll do and uh, and next tutorial is based on uh, Jets and Jetbot and using that Jetbot will make the synthetic data to train that robot and make uses of Jupyter notebook to move the robot to nice across exactly how the uh, jetbot will be moving uh, uh, in real world how we will train the data sets for the robot to follow the run line or obstacles those things will be trained in this uh, ice across uh, gym and the synthetic data will be generated and the uh, algorithms will be made for this a process and uh, using jupiter will control and make the robot movement so this is a task next uh, video will be upcoming video will be based on this okay thank you